As most of you know by now, the game announced last week that we can expect to see Title Update 18.3 tomorrow on July 25th. So in today's video, my fellow agents, we're going to go over those patch notes. I want to pass along a few reminders that are going to end tomorrow as well. And as always, answer some of the questions you've sent the channel. What's going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and before we jump into the patch notes my friends I want to pass along a friendly reminder and that is today is the last day for the apparel event as you can see as of my recording this video. We have 18 hours until this event ends. This is the last time you are going to be able to earn apparel keys for this event and if you miss out on something you want you will then need to spend real world money to get it. Obviously free is much better. So if there happen to be any items you have not picked up from this event as yet you need to make sure you make that a priority today now you should be getting one apparel cash key for every four shade levels that you gain and as always if you have any other questions please let me know in the comments section and i will do my best to get back to you as quick as i can with that being said let's now jump into the patch notes starting with gear weapons and talents starting at the top they are going to be fixing the issue that caused the companion talent and its perfect version to be activated without being near an ally or a skill now a lot of you did reach out to the channel over the last few weeks and you are asking me why i never put a build video together around this talent and the answer is simple i knew it was not performing as intended which means i knew they were going to be making a major change and i did not want to get used to a build that i knew was going to have a major adjustment made to it in the near future Below that, they are going to be fixing the issue where the unbreakable talent and its perfect version were not activating a newly equipped item with the same talent. Continuing on, you can see they are adding the following four exotics to their targeted loot pool categories. They are the Sacrum Imperium, the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag, the St. Elmo's Engine, and the Shocker Punch. Now, to be clear, the Sacrum Imperium and the Ninja Bike Messenger Bag have been in the general loot pool because they are from last season, and when it comes to St. Elmo's Engine and the Shocker Punch, once you have unlocked them from this seasonal reward track they are added to the general loot pool as well which is why people have been able to get those items from exotic caches now as of tomorrow they are being added to the targeted loot pool as well which will help your chances on picking these items up now tomorrow i am putting a standalone video together going over all of those details because i know many of you out there have a lot of questions moving on my fellow agents we're going to talk about descent as you can see in the upper right corner they are making a few changes to this game mode as of tomorrow but my question to you is this do any of the changes that are being implemented tomorrow give you the desire to actually jump into the game mode? Because for me, the answer is no. And this is something I have said before. But in my opinion, the reward system needs to drastically improve to get people into this game mode because I'm just wondering who is this game mode actually for? And the reason I ask that is because I receive comments at this channel from all different types of players. I hear from people who do not have a lot of time to play, which is why they're not playing it because they know in 30 minutes of time, they're not going to be getting anything of value you whatsoever therefore they're not playing this game mode now on the flip side of that coin i'm hearing from people out there saying they do have a lot of time to play they jump into the game mode for two three hours straight which by the way this is exactly what this game mode was designed to do it's designed to keep you in keep you playing trying to get to the highest loop you possibly can but even those players are saying they get to loop 20 they've spent three hours four hours whatever it is and they have not gotten anything of value which makes them not want to come back and as i said earlier that completely has to do with the reward system and keep in mind as i'm saying this stuff i'm not bashing the game mode i actually happen to really enjoy descent but i do not enjoy feeling no sense of accomplishment when i complete something and for me the solution to that problem is a simple one and that is i simply do not play the game mode and unfortunately that is what i'm hearing from the majority of the community which brings me to something i need to ask of you please do me a favor in the comment section down below let me know what would actually get you into this game mode and please do it constructively in the reason I say that is because our goal should be to actually get changes implemented into this game that we want and we can only do that if we actually have a discussion. Now I am not asking you to agree with me it has nothing to do with that but in my opinion if you can justify personally attacking another individual based 
on a video game's patch notes, you are not worthy of someone's respect either, so do not come here to complain. But anyway, for those of you that may be watching this video and you want to constructively pass along some information, please feel free to do so in the comments section down below and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Now as I start to wrap this video up, many of you have reached out to the channel asking me what am I actually doing in the game right now? What is my incentive to log in? And for me, it's really simple. I want to dot the I's and cross the T's in a few builds I've been working on, a DPS build, a tank build, a support build, all of that stuff, because as most of you know, with Year 5 Season 2, we are going to see the return of Incursions, which is a game mode from the first division, which was incredibly popular. Now, if you never played that, or I have no idea what I'm talking about. Later this week, I will be putting together a standalone video talking about what Incursions were in the first game, what I hope they will be in the second, and how, in my opinion, if the game gets us right, it will bring a really good portion of the community back. With all that being said, I want to take a moment as always and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone